know, people say the NBA is a business. It's a global, international, multi-billion dollar business. And more importantly, it's a production-based business. And to have that production, you have to win. But how do you win? It all starts with the plan. You have to plan your work, then you gotta work your plan. And that plan starts with the people. You have to have good people. Now sometimes you have the ability to go get the people on your own, sometimes you inherit them. But the key is getting everybody working together for a common bond. Everybody working together for a common cause. Everybody working together because everyone has to understand that it's a team first mentality. And with the team first mentality, that promotes individual success. Because when you have talented people, you have people that either have success or striving for success. Sometimes individual agendas get in the way. And that's what can destroy a team. And that's what you have to avoid at all costs. Because in the NBA team, it's no different than in the corporations and in the world. It's people working together, talented people. How do you get them all on the same page? And in the NBA, I mean, you have your owners, you have your top executives, you have your VP of sales, your VP of marketing, you have your sponsors, then you have your coaching staff, you got your doctors, you got your trainers, you got your own staff, you got your scouts, and then you got the most important people in the organization, your players. And then you got the players represented by their agents. And then you have the fans. And the fans, who are the fans agents? The media. And you gotta get all those people on the same page. And it takes a lot of work, a lot of patience, and a lot of people's skills. But you love it. You love it because you're a competitor, and you want to do it, and you want to succeed. And the key to all this is teamwork. And then when adversity comes, how do you handle adversity? you got to get everybody back to that foundation that you built. And you have to build that early. Because what you want is when adversity to, to hit, you want people working together not going in survival mode, not going for their own individual agendas. And when you can get that group of people, you got everybody firing on the same cylinders, you can overcome adversity. And that is one of the greatest feats in any corporation or on any team, is overcoming adversity and succeeding.